Hey guys, and welcome to Samorost 3, the latest adventure game from the company that made Botanicula. Bo <laughs> really messed that one up, didn't I? Botanicula and Machinarium. It's, uh, the company is known as Amita, Amanita Design. They're, this is their first touted, big, like, ambitious, full scale adventure game, where I guess the other ones were considered to be smaller projects. Samorost 3. And you launch the game, and it just throws you right here. By the way, the developers were nice, nice enough to provide a key. They just throw you right onto this starting view. So we just click on this planet. This insane looking tree planet. Look at the little fluff bunnies. Oh, this is beautifully textured. That dog has a human voice. There's our starting point, so we immediately have this instrument that we have no trouble playing. Establishing that, uh, oh, Establishing that the mouse wheel zooms in and out and the left mouse apparently drags the camera. Yep, there you go. That's a handy enough way to have control of things. Then you can zoom in and out. This is the maximum zoom in. That's the zoom out, so it's not a huge difference, but it's... It's noteworthy. A view to get a view of the area itself. Looks like you can't pan at this view, because this is the maximum size of the screen. The zooming in gives you a little bit more detail. I like the little detail with this, wet, this woodpecker, by the way. When the uh, woodpecker and the dog were both making noise, it kind of gave you this vague sense that uh, there was something rhythmic going on. So we could use this to play, in it, to play songs, but he also used it to amplify sound, right? Let's try checking out the woodpecker. Can I click on it? Walk up to the tree, and... Oh no. What are you gonna do? Then we'll see what happens if we try to play it at the bird. So we're using it to listen. I don't think I can touch the bird. Nope. You click on the doggy yawns. Cute. Seems to want me to do it again. I think they're just trying to really just drive this home, what that does. Let's try pressing forward. Hello. Eh, maybe we'll take a little bit of a, of a look at those rabbits. Hey, little guys. They're, aren't they little adorable things? Oh, and they scatter. No, no. Can't listen to them? Nah. Huh. They're a little choosy, aren't they? This is my clearing now. You will never feel for safe. No, they're just here. Alright. Can I go up inside the building? Take a look at my home. Here we go. Little area with a tub. And a bedroom. <laughs> that book's now in my inventory. Hello? Four horns in a circle. Guiding the stars, perhaps? Whoa, okay. We have a giant squid escaping an another vortex of some kind. Speeding... Speeding through space with death in his eyes. Trying to devour forest planets and eating them whole before... Excreting. But then these people played their instruments and that must have war... Did it ward it off? They played their instruments... They sp oh, they spoke to the spirits using their trumpets, and saw the squid coming, so they, they, they spoke to the elders, and they... Looks like they invented machines? They invented a- uh, wow, AI, potentially. So they could fight back. 
This little black vortex is some kind of technology which they imbued with spirits. And sent that... Is it a rocket or a spaceship? They put that they put that in the in the robot. Oh, it's a giant. I just saw how large it is. Gave it a sword, sent it to space to fight the squid. <laughs> and it just chopped it up and made him calamari. And then the four let's call them the the seers. They rode some kind of it honestly looks like some kind of spaceship that's covered in shower heads. They rode it to the moon. They rode the alien to the moon. And they took oh, they took away its power source so that it just fell down dead on the moon after its victory. And what they do? They took it into some kind of bunker and protected it with spirits. And then they got up and left. Looks like that one guy stayed behind to protect the bunker that's surrounded by spirits. Huh, and there's probably something noteworthy here. Is it the dark? I wonder if we're saying that it's the dark side of the moon, or if it's just saying it's another thing that's in parallel orbit with the moon around whatever central planet we have. So there's some sort of there's some sort of great spirit or something elsewhere. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Just dreams about flying through space. I think it's gonna loop. Oh, there we go. This game is a, this game is adorable. Shouldn't be allowed. This kind of adorable needs to be illegal. Oh, there you go. What do I see over here? Not a whole lot right now. With the does the knob do anything? Oh, it does. Not a whole lot. Hearing vague alien noises. And when I first zoom out, I kind of see a thing over there. What's that? Can't click on it or anything. Oh, I can drag a little bit. What's your deal? So we zoom in and out. Some kind of root planet. They have interesting perspectives on what planets should look like in this universe. Can I zoom in close on this thing? Must be like a comet. It's a comet that looks like a hairball. Let's try another, another direction. Let's explore the universe a little bit before we go off on our adventure. Or whatever happens in this game. Zooming in or out. We can, we can pan away either way. I forgot which one was zoomed in and which one was zoomed out a little bit. But I'm not seeing anything in this direction. It'll occasionally play that... that Twilight Zone sounding sound. Oh, there's a window over here. In the foreground where we can't see it. Turns out most of space is empty. I know I'm blowing your mind right now. Hello? Space whale? What are you? It totally looks like an inhabit some sort of an inhabited fish planet, <laughs> almost. It's being followed by a ship. Well, there's a site. All right, let's check the original direction. Hello. How you doing? Looks rather dead from here. It's a... a saucer-shaped planet. I'm calling them planets because they have roots coming out of them and that just makes them look alive. We'll see you while we go. Down. There's a nice liveliness to everything so far. I like it. No, go, go pet the dog yourself. Alright, well. We can interact from afar, apparently. The texture work is fantastic. I wonder if these are, like, miniatures they took photos of, or if this is hand-drawn. I wouldn't be surprised if this is all photo-based, uh, like some games have been. Can I listen to that thing? No. Nope. Maybe not. Just It's just a curiosity. Hello. Alright. This button brings it over here. 
This one lowers it a lot. Okay. Does it have different settings? There we go. Can I put them both in the middle? I wonder if our character can jump. I'm gonna say no, probably not. Let's see. Put you in the starting position, but at this height? Can we walk onto it? Not necessarily. Looks like our character only wants to go down here. Maybe I need to make it slightly higher. Oh, look at him, look at him looping around. He'll actually walk through the background over there. Don't know if there's any more though. Our goal is to go over there, I'm sure. This is a pleasant little game. Let's make the bridge go slightly higher. That might be too high. He's similarly uninterested in walking over there right now. Let's see. What if I lowered it now? No, but still it just to the side. I thought it might stick, stay put. Maybe want maybe we do want it all the way down. It doesn't quite go far enough down, does it? Who is it for? It's not for the background thing to jump on, is it? I would suspect not. Can I control that thing when I'm not at it? Nope, you have to be at it. Alright. And we can't use the horn in any capacity. I'm already missing something important, aren't I? About how to proceed here. Definitely seems to nudge against the side. Let's get it lower. Oh, I'm seeing the clue here. Look at this. The bottom of the beam is broken. Does the next one down line up with the broken part of the beam? It sure does. That's the missing clue. Okay. Sorry if I seem a little thick at the beginning, but I need to tune in on the... the basic of the logic of this game. There we go. That's the observation I need to make, is that kind of detail. Every adventure game is a little different on what kind of logic it's going to use. This one's going to be more kinetic, it looks like, than I'm used to. There we go. Alright. Hopefully I'm now on the right channel now for the rest of the game. I'm like, oh, that's the kind of thing I should think about. Okay. That's interesting. This is going to be quite the change of pace with my la the last adventure game I played was Shard Light. In fact, uh, at the time this episode's airing, uh, the finale would have been yesterday. And that was very much an old school, like, find objects, give object a person, or mix object with object. And this one might be a more of a physical puzzle game, maybe even a little bit of physics. So we have... there's a bird up here. I'm sure it might just be a fun living creature. What's this guy's deal? Can I listen to him? Apparently not. What's over here? Can you go play with the flowers? You can sort of scare the insects away. Does not necessarily seem to amount to much. Let's head up. Don't know if there's a puzzle here or if it's just atmosphere. Oh, hello. There's the spirits we saw from the history book. Or the folk tale, whichever it is. You can grab these guys? You totally can. Look at the little guys. Who's a bunch of silly platforms? Or whatever you are. Okay. Oh, they create mushrooms everywhere. Hello. Aw, the mushroom picker's happy now. We got him what he was looking for. Look at us helping people out, like we're bringing color to the world. We could have a whole discussion just about the music design of this game.
There's just the right amount of it being both fitting for the tone of the game and sounding just original enough that it kind of gives me a general feel. feel it reminds me a little bit of, uh, of Bastion in how, it, how fresh it seems. Sup? Friendly? Friendly? What are you doing, buddy? That knife. Can I get it? Um, hello. Tent? Does he want me to make a tent? Whoa. Okay, um... Are we supposed to logic something? Is this like card solitaire? So you can sort them out a little bit. I assume we're supposed to make a sequence. Look, he wanted me to do a tent. So we should probably start there. What's going on here? These four people? Is that a good? There's a test here for sure. Maybe stick with camping stuff? Whoa! They ran over to gather by the fire. Okay, so you're matching two of them together. So put the fisherman by the pond. They're interacting at least. Now I just need to figure out how to progress. Okay, maybe... Oh. You gonna go heat up your arrow? Will you use the... You'll also use the pond, the fire. Mm -hmm. And then you go, to, are you gonna go to the lake then, afterwards? Maybe they can't cross over to the other book. How's a mammoth rectifier? Not at all, perhaps. Okay. Do I then want to give you a moose to hunt? Or a boar? Is he gonna get back up, or is he dead now, forever? He seems kinda dead. Can I put him in the fire? Stack him up, maybe? This is interesting. Can I give you the mushroom to hunt with? I mean, to, yeah, to use as a lure? Totally. Alright, this is just an empty card now. And then you can go fishing. Oh. Okay. That was interesting. Are you gonna... Can, will you have a drink at the water? Oh. Oh. Now what are you gonna fish out of there? No moose? Oh well, what happens if the uh, elephant comes by? Can he rescue the moose? Or elk? The mammoth, I mean. Just has a nice drink and no big deal. Okay, there's some kind of actual puzzle here though, too. Oh, can you stab out the... <laughs> okay. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. What if I put down the... Mushroom first. And as you're leaving, put in a fire. You can cook the mushroom, right? Oh, what the hell? Now there's a worm. Oh, now I can catch something in the pond. We good now? We got a fish! And now I can take that to the- oops, did I just snatch that guy? Is the hunter never coming back? The hunter might be gone for good all of a sudden. How about the hungry people? Hey, you guys got a fish. No? How about the spearman? Archer. No. A fish just exists now? Do you want a fish? We just sort of have a- we have a dead fish and we have a dead boar. So maybe those are two puzzles solved? 
So how do we use... Now the question would be, how do we get the... Oh, there we go. Spearmen seem ready to hunt this elk. Or deer, moose, whatever it is. I don't think they're catching it, though. How about the mammoth? He's slower, right? Just kind of loops. Alright, what about the archer? I don't think you like that. Oh, and he's too fast. So do we slow them down with water first? Not really what I was going for. Not quite. Have you head over and then throw an archer in. Oh, no. It got snatched. Can you hunt them while he's there? No, I think the moose got removed. Alright, there's some sort of interesting logic here that I need to figure out. I think these two are solved because there's two dead animals. I don't think a mammoth is interested, for example, in... Maybe a dead fish? Maybe a dead fish. No. Nope. Not quite. And the campers that seem to be hungry, like there may be, those might be the children. They look hungry, because one of them's rubbing their, their stomach, but they're not interested in these two dead animals yet. So I must have to cook them. The problem is, I can't put the animal and the hunter and the food in the same thing, because you only put them in sets of two for association. So there's a step missing somewhere. Hey, he wants the mushroom. Oh no, he's all woozy now. Poor guy. Now die. This is the strangest puzzle I've done in a while. Alright, three dead animals. We're specializing in murder. Do you scare the elephant with fire? Mammoth is interested in fire. Alright, what about the mushroom? All right, add add the elephant to the list of people that just sort of punt the uh, mushroom away. I don't think the elephant re reacts to the camping site. We're one dead animal away from success. But we still need to figure out how to actually cook these the food here. Because I'm missing that detail still. I can't stack it with a fire. Oh, I can. Interesting. They're hung- yay, they ate. That's what I was missing there. My bad. I didn't try putting them next to each other in that capacity, I guess. There we go. So they've all eaten. There's the three- we'll just go ahead and discard these blank cards. Now we just need to figure out how to murder an elephant. Doesn't particularly care about the archer. Wow, he actually ran to the next tile. I didn't realize I could cross the middle because no one had yet. Now they keep running from him. So what if we trap them then? What if he runs what runs away but directly towards the archer? Nope, they don't leave. If I put the elephant over here, and then plop down the fire, will they... Well, not you. You. You're able to hit the guy, but if you if you burn your... If you burn your, uh, arrow, can you really just nail him? Is he gonna shoot? It's lit now. No change in reaction. If I put the pond, he, maybe he'll get trapped. That's exactly what happens. Like a tar pit. The logic in this game is fascinating. How do you do that? How do you spit roast an elephant? <laughs> Mammoth. I get it. Actually, no, it could be a an elephant. I don't know. Got it. We did it. We done an eat. We ate food. Yeah. And then they had babies. They were so happy they had a million babies. And then they turned green. <laughs> sure. 
Did I do a win? Is that it? Yeah. This game is gonna put me in the stranger's brain space, isn't it? Now cut him. <laughs> uh uh. Huh? Okay. Now we just need a new goal, right? What are we trying to do with a fight with a uh, knife? There's gonna be a completely non-verbal adventure game. And we just need to figure out along the way what we're even going for. Alright, we're back. And we use the knife on... something. Hey, little rabbits. Scared? Oh, you can go left further. Here's something I was missing. You can play around with the water a bit. And the different parts you click on actually create different tones. There's a little fish wandering around. I don't know if we want to catch it or not, but we don't have anything to do so with anyway. We have a knife and we have a trumpet. So what do I want to do with you, you big old gas monster? Makes this thing breathe. I think it's just gonna loop. It went right back inside. Was that a good? Did we win? Or do I want to cut it? Nah, nah. Nah, nah. <laughs> Do you want to touch it at all? <laughs> all these little things expel gas when you touch them. Alright, let's head down. Let's see what else we can find. It's not obstructing my path so far, as far as I can tell, so maybe we'll just keep going. And around the bend. And off the can off the screen. Hey, little guy. That's significantly larger than I am. That must be the, mecha the mechanic from the story. It sure looks like him. How you doing, buddy? We're asking about a spaceship. He's talking about the components. One, two, three. Cockpit. Chair, controls, dome. So we need all the pieces to continue. You want you want my knife? Nah. nah. All right. Let's see here. Oh, same sequence again. My bad. That's gonna be interesting. So we need a cockpit, a dome, controls, and a seat. Mm -hmm. I suppose we're just gonna go find those somewhere. Can I go inside the house? Not really getting the clicking options over there. There's the full zoom out, by the way. This little bug wandering over here. Ooh, look at the size of these plastic bottles that I'm noticing around here. So we, we must be tiny. There's some sort of gazelle-looking thing just sort of popping around willy-nilly. Alright. I can listen to this bottle. Yeah. 
So you want me to cut the bottle? Like that? Oh, hey, it's the cockpit. The dome, I mean. There's a start. Alright. I mean, it controls a chair and a mm -hmm. something else, really. What about just the bottom part? Can't we use that for the bottom? Just the rest of the can? Maybe not. Alright, we just need to find what else we can interact with along the way then. I think we might be done on this screen. This is a pretty chill game where you just kind of slowly explore around and try to find little details you're missing. You've got to have some sort of importance, right, big guy? So clearly, clearly the fish are the controls. I'm not insane. Unless some new detail is going to show up somewhere. Everyone just scatters. Don't see a lot over here. I don't know, my character was yawning. Should I should I go to sleep? Or was it was it just contextual? Maybe we'll dream about something else. Or is it just his ongoing dream to f I think it's just his ongoing dream to fly. Yep. He just really wants to go to space. So we need to find what we're missing now. The dog's reacting. Hey! Hey, little guy. Oh, we're done here? Alright, bye. Can't listen to you at all. Do I need to scare the bird away or something? I wonder if hearing the bird is messing with my ability to re to play the melodies I see. It's interesting because we now know that he usually plays the song and then summons something. But this guy is here to be distracting. Apparently I can't kill it though. <laughs> Well, these are controls. Surely we don't, we don't need to be where they are now, right? There we go. These are ours now. Alright, that's two out of four. So we now mainly need the cockpit itself and a chair. Don't see anything chair-like around here. Hey guys, don't mind me. Can I grab the, uh... Do oh, hey, he's got a little bone. Can I do anything with the, the... Maybe not. I was thinking the doghouse might be useful for something. Do we have a chair at home? Hey! There we go. Oh, maybe I need the bathtub. Like he's willing to sacrifice components of his own house. You gotta think outside the box a little bit, because the things don't quite look like what he has in the diagram. You gotta come up with analogs. That bottom part sure looks like my bathtub. Alright, let's head right back there then. And just rip myself out of house and home, abandoning this planet forever for my fantasies. Can I double click? Nope, we don't we don't ha we do not have the feature where you double click to skip to skip to the next scene. Thankfully he he skips screens when he's walking back with these devices. Did I nail it? Can he even get out of here with that? Looks like it. There we go. 
So now we have everything we need for the cockpit itself. Those are the four components. And then we just need to go stick it in the weird blowy plant. And then we're good to go. Sure, that looks space worthy. What could go wrong? See you later, Gramps. Here we go. We're in orbit. Around whatever this place is. Are we gonna land automatically somewhere? Looks like it. Oh, we're right back here. Aw, he gives things back. That's nice. What a small guy. So we just covered this entire area then. Oh yeah, you can see it. There's the engineer location, there's my house, there's the place with the drawbridge, and then there's the mushroom man, so we cover this entire area. Am I going somewhere else on this island, or is this the only spot? Okay, that's freaky looking. Is that how he repressurizes? Wow, maybe that's how he fuels. All right, well, that's how you land. So this is a game where you travel through space from planet to planet. Off we go. Oh, do I have to click up? No, we're good. Okay, so let's pick a new direction to go on then. Up and away. Look at us go. Oh, that's just, that's the neighboring planet we can go to. Do I need to visit this comet to make it there? I think that's exactly what we do, is try to visit the comet in order to get closer within the range that we have access to. Okay, you're freaking me out a little bit now. <laughs> that was a freaky sight. So we stab this thing in, like a, like a mosquito, we stab, stab this thing into this weird gas comet that looks way too alive and covered in hair. Is there a puzzle here? Should I get off? Hello, my nightmare. Wow. This part of the ship is the mouth and the anus. Can't listen to it. Nah. I can't quite tell if that thing out that the front end looks like a blowhole or an ant hill or a pimple. Hi. Do I play with you? Oh. What did I just do? How do you work? Oh, I can rotate it. Now the question is what I'm trying to do. You did it. Was that good? Now you can rearrange them. Do I want to sort them by color? Could be. Oh. Oh, it became white. I 
I'm not entirely sure what to make of this one. Weird. So it turns them white. Do I just want to turn them all white, perhaps? There we go. I mean, I could do this through sheer busy work, I'm sure, but I just wonder if there's a puzzle that I'm not figuring out right away. Now you're white too. I feel oddly guilty with that, that struggling animation. Do I just want them all to be white? The reds do look oddly angry looking. It's not just me, right? That's like oddly violent and abusive looking. Just grab them and change what they are. Oops, not what I was going for. A little further. Sure hope I'm doing the right thing here. Maybe we'll revisit this mechanic later and it'll be more it'll be more complex because it'll have more weird colors mixed in. Maybe now I want them to all be even. So right now they have different numbers of of uh, they have different numbers on each side. I don't think they have different sizes. I think they automatically look small the further they are out. Yep, that's exactly what I need to do. Oh god, what have I done? Um, that is a very large insect. Cockroach. You don't want you don't want to go over there? Is that an eardrum? Sure looks like an eardrum. Walk a little closer, maybe? Well, uh, maybe not. Oh! This game's a trip. Just the right mixture of logic and insanity. Now this place is glowing. Is that, is that good? Oh god. We need a keyhole for the eardrum? It's not this, right? Yeah. The eyes of the thing are following my cursor, too. Alright, this is gonna be an in interesting playthrough. The right mix of beautiful and interesting and, um... Mind-bendingly insane. <laughs> so now we need a key. Is there anything left on this ship? I can't go any further this way. Don't see... Don't see a lot of evidence of anything going on at the end here. And I certainly don't have a key. Oh, it, it reset itself. Let's see if I remember this one. So it seems we can do this whenever. 
But I don't see anything else interactive in here. So maybe we have to go back to the previous planet but find a key somewhere. And that's how we that's how we leave the uh, orbit of the comet. That's my best thought right now. Oh, adventure games. You crazy. All right. <laughs>